Hello everyone, this is Amir and you are watching Electrical Infinity. This video is based on how to do electrical designing of a G plus 5 building. For electrical designing of any buildings, it required 5 steps. These 5 steps are calculation of total connected load. The second one is transformer sizing. The third one is circuit breaker sizing on the transformer side for the main meter panel. Whereas the fourth step is circuit breaker sizing for each load such as flats. The last and the final step is preparation of single line diagram which we term as SLD. Now before going through these five steps. I will explain you the basics required for designing of any building. So for example, G plus Y it means ground plus 5 floors. It contains 2 BHK, 3 BHK and 4 BHK flats. Also uh, for 2 BHK flats a one phase supply is used. Whereas for 3 BHK a three phase supply is used. The energy meters were required for these 3 BHK and 4 BHK flats are according to the standards provided by the government. So the standards uh, of Indian government for electrical designing of a building for energy meter are this. So for 2 BHK flats we need a 5 kilowatt energy meter whereas for 3 BHK we required a 7.5 kilowatt and for 4 BHK 10 kilowatt energy meter. Similarly. For a 3 BHK villa, uh, we require a 10 kilowatt energy meter, and for 4 BHK, we require a 15 kilowatt energy meter. Let's start with the five steps I showed you earlier for designing of G plus five building. Uh, let us assume that this building has a three 3 BHK flats on each floor, which means total 15 3 BHK flats in this building. Similarly, three 4 BHK flats on each floor, which means total 15 4 BHK flats in this building. The first step is the calculation of total connected load. Total connected load is equals to total flat loads plus a total common load. Total common load includes lifts, bore pumps, water pumps and a lighting, a lighting of a lobby area and a garden. So for a lift, uh, we are using a two 7.5 HP lifts, one bore pump of 5 HP, one water pump of 5 HP and lighting load of 6 kilowatt. Let us now calculate the total common load connected. As we are using uh, two lifts of 5 HP each, so 7.5 HP into 0.746 kilowatts. 1 HP is equals to 0.746 kilowatt. So for conversion, we are multiplying it by 0.746 and we are using two lifts, so two numbers. 7.5 into 2 into 0 0.746 which is equals to 12 kilowatts whereas for bore pumps 5 hp into 0 0.746 into 1 as we are using just one bore pump so it, it is equals to 4 kilowatt similarly with the water pump uh, we got a total load of it as 4 kilowatt 5 hp into 0 0.746 into one is equals to four kilowatt. The last one in the common load is the lighting. For example, we are using a 30 watts light, 230 watts light. And this gives us a load of around 6,000 watts, which is equals to six kilowatt. So the to total common load is 12 plus four plus four plus six is equals to 26 kilowatt so the total common load is 26 kilowatt thus we have ca calculated a total common load now we have to calculate a total flat load connected for this we have to consider total flats 3 bhk and total flats in 5 bhk for total flats in 3 bhk we have got 15 total flats and we are using a 7.5 kilowatt energy meter in that as i've explained you earlier 
on this five floor we have three three bhk flats each so three fives are 15 similarly for a four bhk flats too so 7.5 kilowatt into 15 equals to 112.5 kilowatt which is approximately equal to 113 kilowatts and similarly with 4 bhk we are using a 10 kilowatt energy meter as you can see here for 3 bhk we are using 7.5 kilowatt energy meter so for 4 bhk the total load is 10 kilowatt into 15 which is equals to 150 kilowatt thus adding of these give us the total loads of the flat which is equals to 113 plus 150 equals to 263.263 kilowatt Thus the total connected load is equal to total common load plus total flat load which is 26 kilowatts per plus 263 kilowatt which is equal to 289 kilowatt. The first step is not yet finished. We have to find the peak demand or a potential demand to complete this first step. So the demand factor is recommended by the client which is 60% as in my case. So the demand factor formula is demand factor is equals to peak demand divided by total connected load. So uh, the demand factor in India for residential, commercial and industry is uh, according to the standards. So for India, the required demand factor in residential is 50% to 70%. Whereas in commercial, it's from 70 to 90 percent and in industry, it is 125 percent. Whereas in Gulf, it is different. It is 90 percent in residential and commercial and 125 percent in industry. So 0.6 is demand factor and 0.6 equals to potential demand by 289 is total connected load. We get the value of potential demand or a peak demand as 174 kilowatt here. Thus, we have calculated a total common load, total connected flat load and a total connected load of this building and also we have calculated a peak demand which is 174 kilowatt focusing on second step which is transformer sizing as we got the peak demand as 174 kilowatt and the formula for kva is equals to kilowatt by power factor submitting these values and the power factor as 0.8 we get the value as 218 kva and for 218 kva we can select a 250 kva transformer but 315 kva is safe choice so a 315 kva transformer is recommended for this building in step 3 a circuit breaker sizing on a transformer side for a main metal panel is done as we know that we are using a 315 kva transformer so for converting this kva into ampere the multiplying factor is 1.4 i have shown in my previous video for converting kilowatt to ampere kva to ampere you can check that so for converting kva to ampere the multiplying factor is 1.4 from hp to ampere it is 1.5 whereas for kilowatt it is 1.9 for a three phase supply but these multiplying factor are different for a single phase supply which is 6 6 and 8 as you can see here Thus, by multiplying 315 kVA by 1.4, we get the value as 441 ampere. As you can see, this is the standard chart for the circuit breaker. And from this, we can select a 500 ampere MCCB for the main meter panel. So 500 ampere MCCB is used for the main meter panel, which is a tripole. The fourth step is a circuit breaker sizing for a load or a flat. As we are using a 7.5 kilowatt energy meter in a 3 bhk flat, the total load of a 3 bhk flat is a 7.5 kilowatt. So for converting kilowatt to ampere, 1.9 is a multiplying factor and 2 here is a safety multiplying factor. So 7.5 into 1.9 into 2 give us a value of 29 ampere. By looking at the standard chart, we can select a 50 ampere MCB four pole mcb whereas for four bhk flats we are using 10 kilowatts so 10 kilowatt into 1.9 into 2 we get a value as 38 ampere and we can select a 63 ampere mccb also we have to calculate a circuit breaker size for a common load too so for 26 kilowatt we get a value as 99 ampere and we can use uh, 125 ampere mccb in this Therefore, we are using a 500 ampere MCCB as a main MCCB, 60, uh, 50 ampere MCB and a 63 ampere MCB, also a 125 ampere MCCB for a common load. Step 5 is a drawing of a single line diagram for this building. Firstly, I am drawing a transformer. Uh, this one is a 
315 kVA transformer and we are having a three lines L1, L2, L3 and this is 11 kV by 440 volts transformer and this is R, Y, B and N as we have calculated the value of transformer earlier a uh, 315 kVA transformer is used and the, and the main circuit breaker on the transformer side for main meter panel is this one and the value is 500 ampere MCCB and this one is a triple pole MCCB this block is used uh, for uh, three BHK flats. So as we are using an energy meter of three, which is of three phase and the circuit breakers we are using for this three BHK flats is 50 ampere MCB, which is four pole as we have uh, calculated it earlier. And these are three BHK flats and these are 15 in number. So similarly, uh, we can draw this like one, two, three up to 15, uh, but I'm not doing here as the diagram will be expanded so much and this block is for uh, the 4 bhk flats as in the 4 bhk flats we are using a 63 ampere mccb which is also a four pole and these are of 15 numbers the energy meter used in these flats 4 bhk flats is also of three phase therefore you can see these values of circuit breakers 50 ampere and 63 ampere from the previous calculation as you can see 50 63 and a 125 for a common load so for a common load we are using the same three phase energy meter and a circuit breaker as a 125 ampere mccb which is triple pole these are uh, these four bhk are 15 in number and we can draw it on the drawing so total we are using on almost 31 energy meters in this building this one is called as a meter panel the one i am marking with the red it is called as a meter panel thus in this building design we are using a uh, total energy meters as 31 so the total energy meters are 31 and 15 for 3 bsk 15 for 4 bsk and one for common load which give us a value as 31 now let's do a quick recap of this uh, designing so first we have calculated total load with the help of which we got a value of a transformer and then with the value of this transformer we got a circuit breaker for this main meter panel after that uh, we are doing a circuit breaker calculation for a 3 bhk 4 bhk and a common load so for 3 bhk we have got energy meter of three phase supply which is of 7.5 kilowatt these uh, sets are of 15 in number i have drawn just a one set on this drawing for 3 bhk flats you can draw 15 of these if you want and similarly we have done the same calculation for a uh, 4 bhk flat as i have shown you earlier so that's all in this video guys hope you have found this video very useful and it will help you in enhancing your knowledge in electrical that's all in this video guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to electrical infinity thanks for watching